that probably just completely blew out the mic. But uh, the only way you can record off of a PlayStation 3 because of its uh, copyright protection, or at least the only way I have available to me is using my Elgato, my old uh, model Elgato capture card. Um, but the old model doesn't allow real-time uh, transmission of data. So I have to have the audio for the game on at least a little bit so I can hear it. So hopefully you're not going to get too much of an echo here. Also, I'm going to be playing uh, my new game Plus so I can get all of the fancy upgrades and weapons and stuff and to get my soldiers to even higher levels. And here is the intro. I also really like how the art design in this game is like you're peering into the illustrations of the book uh, that this is based on. See the Imperial Generals and fan favorite Selvaria. Although she's more favorite for the various uh, fapping material that's been made of her. I also now I'm new to doing a new game plus, but it should be noted that I have not yet unlocked everything. Uh, there are still a couple of characters I have not unlocked. Um, except for the one guy you get on, uh, uh, the one guy you get for just starting a new game plus. I also haven't unlocked all of the, um, extra episodes, so there and I have not yet played through all of the DLC. Um, actually, I can't remember whether... Um, her blue flame actually is supposed to take place before... The main story. I think it is. In which case, I might actually start off with that. Her flame. Also, I don't have a video of me because I don't. Silver is mission behind her blue flame. Okay, behind her blue flame is centered around Selvaria Bless and her, an Imperial engineer named Johan during the Imperial capture of Kerlandio at the beginning of the war. So, I guess technically speaking, it does happen before the main game. But I think what we'll do is we'll play through. Um, We'll play through the first, the prologue, and maybe the first chapter. Then I'll do, um, then I'll do Behind Her Blue Flame and the other DLC as well at various points. And I'm just going to chug along and uh, play through the game, and we'll see if we can survive here in New Game Plus. I'm also going to be switching between the English and the Japanese audio track, except for Japanese right now, but I am going to uh, start off with English, and every time I do a new video, um, uh, 
I will switch over to the to a different language track. Okay, so let's load game. I think you're supposed to do load game instead of new game. And then, yeah, cleared save data. Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. I'm also going to have to have the subtitles on so I can know what the characters are saying, because I've only got the audio on very lightly, because I don't want there to be um, any echoing on the microphone here. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic East European Imperial Alliance, otherwise known as the Empire. Otherwise known as In Soviet the west, Russia. A network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. <laughs> I love how, even though the this Empire is supposed to be set around between. Uh, struck hard, well, yeah, pretty much just prior to World War II, because. If I remember my history correctly, the war started in 1939. At least most everyone agreed it started when Nazi Germany invaded Poland. The sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting for the Empire. It amassed troops along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. Because playing behind her blue flame, you can unlock the room, which is the rifle that um, Galia to arms. that Silvaria uses that combines the magazine size and the rate of fire of a submachine gun with uh, the accuracy of a sniper rifle. Blah 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 Statistics tab is now available about statistics na, 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 na. We don't really need to know this for the let's play Cordelia waits in the audience hall Yeah, now this one, number nine, is unlocked. East Bank of Fassel, which is the f uh, the skirmish where you. Uh, uh, excuse me. Ah, it's been a long day. We just got a new dog, and so we spent three hours at an adoption event trying to find a dog. But yeah, okay, well we don't need to worry about that just yet, so I'm actually going to go to headquarters really quickly. Even though you're technically not supposed to be able to go to headquarters right there in the prologue, but... First we're going to go to the barracks. And yeah, just as I thought, we don't have anyone on our team yet, we probably can't just the officers. Okay. Yeah, I've also got all of my equipment back again. You know what? Just to make sure this isn't too easy, I'm gonna give him a Galleon A-10. I don't think I can... Yeah, no, I can't... do anything. Zaka never gets out of his tank. 
Alicia's got her S20, although I think I'm, for th at least for this fight, I'm going to give her her S10R. And we won't worry about Rosie and Largo for right now. So, yeah. Currently I have just shy of 70,000 XP. I won't spend it just yet because we don't have the rest of our squad. And I've already upgraded stuff for the final battle in my first playthrough. Um, I don't think the extra episodes will be available just yet, so we'll just stop in at the audience hall really quickly. And we'll get a medal. Uh, we'll, we'll pretend this is my first playthrough. And we'll get a medal for being completely Bell. awesome. Step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Dun, 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 dun. Savior of Gallia awarded. Furthermore, for your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. How about Thank that? Thank you, Your Highness. What's it gonna be? What is it? What is it? It's a rifle. What kind of rifle, though? Ooh, it's an S20R. Actually, I think I May might give that to uh, Alicia now. So now we gotta go back to the squad barracks. And we'll give Alicia the S20R. Because she is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. Everything is awesome. I haven't actually watched that movie in ages. Okay, well, let's... We've been buggering around for so long. Let's finally start the story. March, 1935, outside the Gallian border town of Brühl. <laughs> Residents are leaving the town before the invasion, headed inland towards the capital. And now... We will have the appearance of our hero. Wilkie! I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed. Yep, I know he doesn't like that, but I'm gonna call him that. Hello, Wilkies. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. Swimming upstream, are ya? Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? Uh, Welkin, the fish cannot respond back to you. Freeze! Put your hands in the air, slowly. And now it's time for a meet cute. Well, sort of. Can I still be Haven't a meat cute if there are before. guns involved? What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are... The one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish, and, uh, you know... <laughs> Yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? Oh, 
All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. <laughs> Okay, we'll go immediately to the next episode. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. I don't know, Alicia. At this point, it seems like you're really reaching. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait. Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes. I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Uh. <sighs> <laughs> Anime pout. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Well, like I said, Don't Alicia, I, I think at, that, I at the point suspicious. you started, you know, getting Lux more than halfway into the book, it kind of seemed That's like you were sort of reaching with the whole spy right? thing. Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Uh -oh. Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Come on! Right? Yeah. I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. All right, time for the very first mission. Gallia to arms encounter at Brule. Which I'm pretty sure this is the first skirmish map as well. Okay, here's the plan. Yeah, this is just the first skirmish map. Except we're going towards the windmill, across the bridge and towards the windmill. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. <laughs> One of the few times that Alicia gives you your briefing. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Only three? Yeah, this will be a cakewalk. So we got Welkin. <sighs> No, oh, excuse me again. The town watchman and only three command points. Huh. Well, I think I'm, I'm gonna try and go for. Uh, I'm gonna try and go for the A rank, see if I can get this done in one turn. So, My turn, okay. let's start with Alicia. Oh, and she's even already wearing her uniform. Not 
exactly authentic, is it? No! Not bad. Okay, well, I'll just go as far as she can run. Turn. Moving out. Please hit. That takes care of that guy. Yeah, we should be able to finish this in one turn with an A rank. Yes, please yeah. don't. Oh, yeah. You guys just got owned all in one turn. Although, I'm probably not going to get very much XP or Ducats for this. I don't see any more of them. Yep, we got the A rank. Yeah. 240 XP and 600 Ducats for our trouble. <laughs> Now, the Hilltop Promise. Miss Melkiot, there's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now, Go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. So it's begun. I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. Oh, oh, wait, I know this one. Seeds from Symbolism! It blooms white. Small, simple, Oh, well, they're just gonna go and explain it then. I want okay, to fine, whatever. To remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day, of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate, and of love blooming even through the flames of war. What follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. So, I don't know, Irene's voice doesn't really sound like Ellet's, so did Ellet never get her name on a book? It's kind of sad if she didn't. <laughs> 